Good morning. It's our third workout. Um, we are doing a little bit of balance today, also some cardio, and of course a little bit of uh, mat abdominals, inspired Pilates abdominal workout. So you'll need your dumbbells, you'll need your mat. Um, I double up my mat so it has a little more cushion when we go to the knees. You can also roll your mat or maybe have a towel or something you can keep near you for any kneeling that we may be doing. So we're gonna start in a wide second position, meaning you're turned out with your feet and your femurs, your knees, all of the bones from the femur to the feet are turned externally from the body. Pretty wide, the taller you are, the more space you have between your feet, okay? So the weights are gonna go on the upper thighs. We're just gonna start with a plie, just a nice deep knee bend. I'm feeling yesterday's workout, we did all of those plies and squats yesterday. So hopefully, if you did that yesterday, you're a little sore. Very nice. We have to get up off those couches, get up off our desk chairs, come out into the sunshine, look at this beautiful blue sky, and enjoy the day. We're gonna do three more and two. Now we're gonna hold this last one down and just hold the plie. Now we're gonna add some arms. So we're gonna take the arms in front of the body, roll the shoulders back, and we're gonna take the arms singly up in front of the shoulder and back down. Now we're holding the plie, but if you feel that you can't hold your plie, then you just come to straight legs and you just follow the arms, okay? Otherwise, I want you to stay in your plie. Very nice, and you can see when you raise your arm, you're trying not to shrug your shoulder. So you're moving that arm bone, that humerus bone inside that glenoid socket without any changing of that shoulder girdle. We're gonna do one more set of those forward shoulder raises. And then when we finish that, we're gonna stand back up. Okay, now we're doing our second set of 10 plies. So we're just resting our hands here. We're gonna do 10 and nine. So we're just warming up the large muscle groups of the body, warming up the heart, breathing. Imagine there's that wall behind you that you can feel your head and tailbone on sliding down and up that wall. We're gonna do four more and three, two, and hold. Very good, now turn your palms to face forward and we're gonna do 10 bicep curls in your plie. Two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then come out of the plie, very good. Now, we're gonna take the feet a little bit wider and we're gonna bend into one leg, put the dumbbells down, Place the hands down onto the mat and stretch those adductors and quads a little bit and then other side, a little stretch. And again, holding here. Now you're gonna to rotate to your bent leg, rotate the feet forward, and you're gonna place your knee down carefully and flatten out your foot. And then you're gonna go ahead and just take your hands, one hand to the hip, one hand to the knee. You can have both hands here if that helps you. Notice my pelvis is forward of my knee. I'm stretching down those quadriceps. I'm gonna raise my arms up. I'm gonna look up, lean back for a little stretch here, a little back extension, and then bring the arms down and frame the foot. I'm gonna curl my toes behind, come up to straight legs, and then try to find this kind of triangle pose. Look back, shoulders down and hold it. stretch for three, two, and one. And then turn back to the center go back into that wide plie and then bend to the other side and hold, okay? Now you're gonna rotate, place the knee down, flatten out the foot, find your balance, right? You can always keep one hand here, otherwise you're gonna take both arms up. Remember this, those, that pelvis is forward, abdominals in, you're gonna look up and back for three, two, one, bring both hands down, curl the toes behind you, lift up the knee, Maybe walk it in, take that foot down and look back and hold. Very good. Now, come back to the midline and then bring your feet facing forward, shoulders down, try to get the hands down. The wider your feet are, the easier it is to get your hands down, okay? So you're trying to kind of drop into the stretch, drop your forearms down, lift up through your femurs, lift up through the pelvis, pull the abdominals in, and have your back very flat. So you don't want to be rounded in the spine here, no flexion, more flat back, like you're lengthening through the crown of the head. For three, two, 
one, and then we're going to go ahead and walk our feet in, and then a little bit more, tuck under the tail, soften your knees, and then articulate up to standing one vertebra at a time. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of movement here and do a little balance work. So facing the side, you are going to stand kind of maybe in the middle of your mat. So we're going to take one leg up in front. We're going to start with the closer leg here, and we are going to do a little bit of a knee pull. But when we step this leg back, the arms go over the head and this forward leg bends. So when you come forward, you're here, step back two, three, I'm going to move forward a little bit, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now hold this shape, and now holding this forward leg bent, the back leg is straight, hips and shoulders are square to the front, you're going to take your arms up down one, two, three, keep bending that forward leg, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, this back leg is going to come forward again, and we're just going to hold right here. Hold this shape. Very good. See if you can take the arms up, and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Place that foot down. Very nice. Okay. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so we're going to take that farther away leg. We're going to bring it up. Shift back, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold here, maybe, right? Stay in that forward leg bend and go down and up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, we're going to step into that forward foot, bring the leg up, hold here. You can be here if you need to, wherever you can go. We're going to try to hold this for five, four, three, two, one, and bring that leg down. Good job. Okay, so we're going to get out to the mat. Move the weights off. Come on down. Really take up the whole length of your mat. Sun is up there in the sky again. We're going to start off with just a little bit of toe tapping. So bringing the shoulders down to your back, palms down on the mat, arms flat against your mat. Bring one leg to tabletop, other leg to tabletop. Squeeze the legs together. Now one leg at a time moving from your femur, you're going to tap your foot down on your mat. So what you're trying to do is move the whole shape of the leg. We've done these in the studio before. You're trying not to drop from your knee. Can you see the difference? I'm dropping from my knee versus hinging from my femur. So you want to move the shape of the leg out and back in and really work on keeping the ribs and pelvis in the same alignment as you do that. Good. One more set. Very nice. Okay. Now holding tabletop, we're going to take our arms up over the shoulders, press the back down. We're going to go right into our hundreds. Take a breath in. Exhale, bow the head and shoulders forward. Arms are kind of right outside of the other thighs. We're going to start pumping. Breathe in and out. In through the nose, out through the mouth. As you're doing that breath, remember it's five inhale. Five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Those inner thighs are really deeply squeezing together. Now on your next exhale, straighten the legs out in front, turn out into that plie, that kind of external rotation from femur to foot, breathing in and blowing out. Three more, breathe in and out. Two more, in and out. Last time, in. Out, two, three, four, five, hold, and then bring it home. Very nice. Okay, so cross the ankles, hands down next to you. So one ankle's over the other. We're gonna reverse crunch for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, try to get that pelvis up, three, two, and one. Now, before you do the other side, remember which ankle's on top. You're gonna take your feet now side to side like a little monkey foot and hold the shape, you're just gonna close it up in one, two, three, four, like a little clam in the air with both legs, five, six, make sure the ribs aren't up, ribs are down, eight, nine, 10. Now, keeping the knees apart, cross the other ankle over. 10 more reverse crunches, here we go. One, two, three, I'm getting my vitamin D. Four, five, abdominals really working. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now again, monkey feet, pray your feet. Close it up, make sure the knees aren't here. They're over the pelvis, rib cage is down. We are gonna close and open one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now keep your knees open. From here, you're gonna go up one, two. So you open and bend, extend, close. Here we go, three, Four. Hello, inner thighs. Five, six. Keep those ribs over the pelvis. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now stay right there. Place the hands behind the head. Turn out the feet. Lower one leg with the other. Pulse. One, two. Switch. One, two. One, two. One, two. Keep the head and shoulders lifted. Remember, it's not just your head. You've got to get up those shoulders. Four more, three, two, one. Now, bend both knees in, extend up, lower halfway. So legs are together, bend, extend, lower. Bend, extend, lower. Two more, we're gonna do five in each direction. Good job. Now, we are going to bend, extend out, lift up. Bend, extend out, lift up, bend, push away, lift, bend, press out. One more, bend, extend, and lift. Hug it in, good job, relax the shoulders, okay? So we are gonna rock our way up. So hug your knees to your chest, pull your chin to your chest. We're gonna kick a little bit on the first one, and then you're gonna try to keep rocking for about eight reps, okay? So we're gonna rock, and just stay rocking one. I'm doing this on the patio, so it's not very squishy, but it's okay. Try to keep your forehead to your knees, your heels to your butt. Let's do four, three, two, and all the way up. We're gonna go into saw. So I'm gonna use the weights for this. If you have your weights, grab them. So I think I'll do it facing forward, maybe. There we go. So my feet are a little wider than my hips, and I have wide hips, so, you know, I just want to be a little bit wider than the hips, not too wide. Arms out here, shoulders down. You're going to turn to one leg, taking your arms in the same shape. So in other words, when I turn to this leg, I'm not going to take my arms farther. I'm going to rotate to that leg. My arms are still in front of my shoulders. I'm going to see if I rotate a little bit more, and then as I bow down to this outer part of my foot, with my hand, I'm gonna look back, turn this palm up, I'm gonna lift and reach for one, lift, reach for twice. Then I'm gonna lift the shape, and I'm back here with my palms facing in. So my palms stay facing in without shifting my pelvis or my legs, so I'm turning from my waist. Then I'm gonna reach for that opposite, that pinky toe, look back, turn, lift, pump one, lift, pump two. So this is great with these three pound weights, really fill my shoulders, so we go again. Rotate, bow, lift, pump one, lift, pump two, up, turn back. Rotate, bow, turn that hand back so the palm's facing up behind you. Lift, one, lift, two, lift the whole shape. Let's just do one more set. Rotate, bow, one, two, a little more flow. Rotate, one, two, back to the center. Very good. Okay, so I'm gonna put those weights down. I'm gonna come onto a quadruped. Again, if you need to roll your mat up, this is the time to do it. So we're gonna basically be in that four-point kneeling. 
spread your fingers, press into the uh, little finger pads. All right, so knees are a little bit apart, knees are under hips. We're gonna round to cat, extend to your lovely camel or cow, and then round scoop, and then again, cow, two more. Spinal mobility, so great. Okay, now curl your toes, keep your hands here, and you're gonna raise your knees up and down 10 times without changing your back posture, your arms, your legs, or anything. Okay, so but you'll be lifting up off those knees. So really set into your lats, so squeeze into your armpits. We're gonna raise the knees and lower one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now try to hold up this last one. Can we cat and cow here? Three sets, round, last time, and then bring it down. Those are hard. Okay, so from here, we're gonna come down on our forearms, get all those wrists, extend one leg, draw the shoulders down. Make sure you don't have any space, anything behind you, you have space. We're gonna raise and lower one, two, Three abs in, four, keep the neck long. We're not here. That's not good. You wanna lift up through your sternum, draw down through those shoulders, lift up through your abdominals. Really lengthen from the glutes through the toes. Keep breathing. Now hold this last one up, and we are going to now go into a little bit of a sweeping, but we're gonna take the forearm on the opposite arm of the leg that's up, put it down flat. And then this hand goes here. So you can see I'm right here. I'm gonna sweep and then sweep back. I'm gonna look to the leg and bring it back. So I have a little spinal movement going on as I do this. And three, four, five. Keep the leg high. Six, keep the leg really straight if you can. Eight, nine. Now hold here. Now flex and lower one two, draw the shoulders down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring that knee in, shift it back, child's pose, good job. Hope I have enough room on the other side. We shall see, maybe I'll do this way. Probably better. Okay, so, forearms, other leg extends, shoulders down, check behind. All right, here we go, one, two, abs in, three, four, lift up through the sternum, five, six, long neck, seven, eight, nine. Hold that leg up on 10. Now come up, the forearm is gonna come across the body of the opposite side. This hand's gonna go here. I'm gonna come across one, two, three, Four, keep the leg high and straight. Five, you guys are doing good. Six, seven, eight, nine. Hold here on 10, flex the foot. One, two, three, abs in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job. And then back we go into our little child's pose. Relax the shoulders, shake out the head, roll the wrists. Okay, so we're gonna come on up, do a little more upper body with our weights. All right, so grab your weights. Bring me more of a squat, wide squat. All right, arms here. So on the squat, we wanna sit way back, okay? So we're gonna just hold our arms here like you have, if you've done, uh, been in the gym and had a barbell behind your shoulders, very similar, okay? So you're gonna squat and stand one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna hold on 10. Now just the arms up, one, two, hold your squat, abs in, three, four, five, Six, squeeze those lats, squeeze those serratus, rhomboids in the back. Three, 
two, and one. Good job. Okay, so this time we're going to take our arms, palms up to the side, and as you squat, you're going to bicep curl. So you sit back, squat, one, two. So we're combining the squat, full upper body, three, four, five, six, hear those hummingbirds, seven, eight, woo, nine. Now hold this last one, ten. Now take the arms back like this, okay? So I'm in my squat, my hips are right back, my elbows are high. I'm gonna kick back those forearms, one, abs in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs burning, shake them out. Now, bring the feet together, come into a little baby squat, hips back, hinged forward, arms to your shoulders down. And we go out one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Work in that back body. Now turn the palms, palm down. Kick back one, reach up, two, woo, three, four, abs in, five, I'm trying, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stand it up. Okay, last little kind of HIIT or high intensity set. So this time, you are going to squat, hop to the center, and then squat out. Okay, so when you hop into the middle of your mat, you're gonna come up here, squat, tap, here, okay? Here we go, are you ready? Okay, so we're gonna jump out. I think I missed that up, so we'll go here. Little jumping jack, we won't go to the mat just yet. We'll do that on the second set. So just going outside of the mat, arms up. Good, out. Let's try that again, five, four, three, woo, two, and one. Okay, so now we'll try that tapping the mat, okay? So we're gonna tap when we squat, and then hop here, okay? So it's one, two, three, hop in, arms up, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think I'm traveling, <laughs> nine, and 10. Oh, those are tough, good job. Okay, we're gonna go into a little bit on our belly. So come in out on the stomach. We do some swimming. Take each of the arms out on an angle, outside of your mat. Legs a little apart, but not off the mat. Press down the pubic bone. From here, lift up the head, neck, and chest. Then take one arm up, the other arm up, one leg, other leg, knees off. Lift up a little more. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, swimming, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, turn your palms in, elbows wide, curl your toes. You're going to push up to a plank. So here we go. Push up. We're going to hold this three, two, one. Elbows go wide, bring it down, and then come out to this shape. Then we come in, curl the toes, and we lift up. Three, two, one. Bring it down, lift it up. Two more, we lift. That was very good. Three, two, one. Bring it down slowly, lift up. Last time, curl, try to tuck, lift one piece, that's so hard. Three, two, one, bring it down, and here. Very good. Okay, so push up, widen your knees, feet together, little child's pose, shake out your hips, shake out your back, breathing. Very good. Now, we're gonna take our hands all forward, curl the toes back, walk the feet in a little bit, 
Push back on your heels. Maybe widen your feet slightly. Tuck the tail. Pull the belly in. Little child's pose, or a little downward dog, excuse me. And now take one leg up. Try to get that heel down. Hold here. Three, two, one. Bring that leg down. Pull the other leg up. I'm gonna try to raise my head a little bit here. Push off my hands. Three, two, one. Very good. I'm gonna walk my hands to my feet. All right. Hang out here for a moment. Just shake out your head. Shake the head out. Circle it. Tuck the tail, roll it up, bone by bone. Reach the arms up, I'm gonna turn to face you. Widen your feet, turn out your feet like we started. We're gonna side bend one direction, bending that knee, take that arm on the knee, reach the other arm up, open the chest, pull the ribs and the navel in, hold three, two, one, come back to the center. Bend the opposite knee, bring that forearm down, look up, open, three, two, one, and then bring it back. Good job. So we're gonna bend the knees. We're gonna lift up, breathe in. Bring it down. Inhale. Bring it down. You guys did good today. Inhale. I'm sure there was some bloopers in there, but that's okay. The important thing is we're moving. I'm putting myself out there. This isn't my comfort zone, so I'm trying to do something that is a little out of my ordinary. I'd much rather be in the studio, but we gotta do what we can right now. Stay positive, stay focused, stay strong, stay sane, stay happy. One more, and that's it. Good job, you guys. See you next time.